I feel weird after last night. Yeah, that's what happens when tequila meets desperation. Okay, stop saying things you shouldn't be saying to your boss. Holy crap, can you hear my inner thoughts? I can hear your inner thoughts! Ah! I don't think she wants to know what's on my mind. My name is Marley. And my name is Will. And we've been together for four years and counting. My name is Rosalina Lopez. My name is Joel Amanzar. And we have been together for six years. I am Randy Valdez Jr. And we've been a couple for two years. I'm Marco Maldonado, and he's right, two years. I was trying to test him, see if he knew. My name is Adrian. My name is Carlos. We've been together for over a year now. Yeah. Are you confirming? Yeah, because I was like, let me think about that. My name is Rika. My name is Chris, and we've been together for two years. I thought we met at a party when I was actually trying to hit on him. Mm, so apparently, no. <laughs> let her tell the story. She's gonna be like, "Yeah, I backed him." I did. How? I, I sent the message first. No. <laughs> we met through a group of friends. He had like a really nice hoodie on, so I was like, "Okay, cute." Ow. I backed in real life though. In real life. Huh? Because I was like, "Man, your dimples are cute." <laughs> yeah, that's your go-to move. You forget I have dimples every month. No, I kept getting side eyes, kind of like. I don't know who you are, why are you here? And Randy and I met through a mutual friend of ours. He was really adamant about us meeting for some reason. Like he would hit me up every other day. Super annoying. Mad annoying, where I didn't even want to meet him anymore. I first saw Rika, I was like, who is that? My mind kept asking like, go talk to her, go talk to her. So when we finally did meet, we just had like instant chemistry. But the gag is the dude that hooked us up tried to like break us up later right. on because he wasn't feeling it. Cause I guess he just he like seen him. it and I think he liked his ass, but it's all right. What's funny is like, we were like, you know what? We're gonna keep this casual, you know? And we're, if, like, let's promise not to fall in love. I was surprised at myself because I never usually approach women like that, but I was like, with her, I saw her. It was something in my mind that clicked and I just said, I'm going after that. Maybe like six months went by <laughs> and then he was just like, it was time for us to go on summer break and come back. And then he's just like, when am I gonna see you again? Blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, <laughs> what's wrong with this guy? But I was feeling it too, but I didn't want to admit it because, you know, I'm a girl. So I'm like, he has to fall hard first. I asked her out first. I said I wanted it. So I said, I'm gonna go after her first. He asked me out first, but like ultimately, we didn't start dating until I asked him out. Oh, I asked you to come up to like my neighborhood when you got off of work. And I took her to a restaurant. Um, Cachapa Simas, cause she's like half Venezuelan. So it's like, oh, I love tequinos. I do. I was, ah, gotcha. Our first day was at a steakhouse, and like 15 minutes into the date, he's like sleeping on the couch. I just heard the snoring. We took the food to go. That was a great first day. We went to Red Lobster. For like a year after that, my mom called him Red Lobster Boy. <laughs> we used to like play wrestle all the time, and at the dorms, so when we would play wrestle, I would literally like slam him on the bed, I know I look like, you know, don't whatever. Listen to the, don't don't listen. Don't it's listen. a real story. And then I would like <laughs> slam him on the bed and then the bed board would break at the bottom, like break. The first time I met Joel's parents, I was not like dating him per se. We were not official and it was definitely by accident. So we had to ask the RAs to get us new bed boards. So I slammed him on the bed like four weeks in a row. So the, <laughs> yeah. so the RAs were like wondering like, what's happening like in this room. I have a very like wide range memory of like white actresses for some reason in like the 90s. No, he really does. It's really, really weird. And I'm not, I don't even follow like you actresses know, or white actresses. All these white I know women. all their names. Like they pop them on the screen, like I'll know it. My first thought was like to say I was your roommate's girlfriend or something <laughs> because I really was terrified of meeting them. That would've worked. And I yeah. ran out of your house. He'll quiz me like some white girl comes on the show and he'll be like, what's her name? And I'll literally like know her first last name, maybe even her middle name. He knows all of them, literally. So yeah, he finishes my sentence and I do it too. I would describe Carlos as funny. <laughs> um, really smart and like mm -hmm. has a very sharp memory. Mm -hmm. That's kind of scary sometimes. He's extremely like warm, nurturing, like laid back, chill, but extremely supportive. That's why I like a lot of them. And very nurturing, honestly. <laughs> I would describe Adrian as very intelligent, a hard worker. That's news to me. Also, <laughs> Okay, also I'm funnier. Oh yeah, she is funnier. She basically lets me be myself to where I feel comfortable to be myself and be silly around her and stuff, which it's not it's something I didn't really have in the past. I would describe Randy as kind of a renaissance man. And when I met him, he's 
really into fashion, really into his physical health. He can sing, and he's affectionate. I would describe you as a unique human being, not only because of her character traits, but her heart, which a lot of people don't have these days. He just makes me feel like a king, so I would say talented all around. I would say she's, she's taught me a lot. That was so cute. And it's on camera. I can tell when Marco's acting different because he does this little like sigh and eye roll. If you blink, you'll miss it. So it's it's very much so like. There's a little face expression she'll make sure sometimes when she's thinking. She'll be like this, like, like when she's thinking about something, I'll catch her. And I'm like, hold up, what's wrong? Like, and she was like, oh, nothing, nothing, and stuff. And I'm like, I know when you're thinking about something. I, I just saw you, your face crunch up. I can tell when Randy's acting different. He gets quiet and he paces too. If it's like a lot on his mind. <laughs> and if I say something, I think he mocks me in his head. I am not mocking him when something's different. He ain't got a lot to kick it. I don't know why he's gonna lie to you. I'm pretty sure he's mocking me. I think it's really easy to notice when Carlos is acting different. If he's upset, it's like an eye roll that is more, it's like a very round the world eye roll. Like, oh, I get that from my mom. It's just like. It's very easy to notice when she's not very happy. The vein pops out. It's just like, <laughs> I don't know if you've ever seen Dragon Ball Z, but it's like right there is an X. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> That's the face right there. I think her go-to reaction is blushing because like no matter if she's mad, happy, sad, she turns bright red. My face is red right now, I can feel it. Yeah, <laughs> I feel the heat. If I could read Randy's mind, I don't think it would necessarily make it better. I think maybe certain things would make it better just because I would know certain wants and certain likes if I didn't already know that. But just overall, I think it makes you disconnected in a way because I feel like if you know too much about somebody, you kind of either get bored and kind of like stir away from them. I think sometimes I want to read your mind just like if you're it's upset, just, I just want to know more. Oh, most of my thoughts are like cute animal clip shows. Right, I know. Like, but sometimes I feel like I don't want to read his mind because I just know it's like... Out of pocket. Yeah. Even moody situations, like I wouldn't want to know every Oh, yeah, single I'm, aspect. I'm He's moody. moody. I'm King like, Moody Boots, B. The sun will come up and I'll be all happy and then like a plane will go and I'll just get mad just for some reason. But I'm at my nuts, but I, I kind of keep it under control. <laughs> all I know is if I could read her mind, all I'm just going to hear is, damn, I'm hungry. Damn, I'm just ate. Damn, I'm poor. <laughs> damn, I need to go to sleep. That's, yeah, that's yeah, fact. Yeah, exactly. That's a fact. I wish I can read his mind. Sometimes he might get in a bad mood that like is unrelated to me, but he's extremely considerate, so he feels like he doesn't want me to carry whatever he's dealing with. I really want to support him the same way he supports me. I feel like the problem solver is kind of both of us, depending on what the situation is. It is a situation, I'll say that. It's very which situational, is which is good, right? Like, if we don't know individually, we definitely kind of put our heads together and kind of just solve it together. We never really fight. We we haven't had an argument yet, and I just yeah. feel like because we just know how to talk to each other. Yeah. If she's got something she's gonna say to me, I'd rather she just say it instead of being like, "No, I'm done. I'm not talking about this." Yeah, because I'm just gonna bring it back up. Yeah, because it's never gonna end. If I say something that makes you feel like, "Oh, wow," like maybe that's something you need to you know, go in and reevaluate and see what's the issue. Because at the end of the day, I'm only hurting myself if I try to not say something to spare your feelings. I do say things to save face because you gotta pick and choose your battles. You're going to have differences every single day. Whether, I don't like the way you blink like that, or, oh my God, when you, why don't you wipe the sink with all the toothpaste? Just like little things. You choose every single battle that you disagree with. You're gonna argue all day, every day, no matter how compatible you guys are. I definitely do, just to kind of keep the peace and make this man smile, because when he smiles, I smile, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was like, you got points for that one. Wow. His go-to restaurant would be Cal's Bakery or Bebe Fritai, which is the same, it's a Haitian restaurant that are next door to you, like near on the same block. Well, I'll say he really did not like driving, but because I was like, yeah, I am not driving this Daisy around New York City, he's definitely started driving more. Randy's favorite song to sing is Love by Music Soul Child. Cow's Bakery oh. and um, Baby Free Time. <laughs> That's great. What did you say? You gotta guess. Oh, um, Love Music Soul Child. Yeah. Driving. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you really